Hello, this is the tutorial for installing and using the Ovani Footstep plugin, uh, specifically for Unity. It's just a Unity package file. If you're uh, familiar with Unity, you know how to use these. Uh, either just double-click it while your Unity game is open, or you can drag it into uh, Unity itself. See, I've already got it in my project, because I do, but uh, at this point you would press import and you'd go through that collection of menus, and once that's done, you'll be here. Um, we've got this folder, auto footsteps, and inside of it we've got an example. We've also got these scripts, and these are what drives the plugin, what makes it work. We've also got a barefoot, quote-unquote, foot profile, and a shoe, quote-unquote, foot profile. These, aka, or these foot profiles, or what a foot profile does is it collects sound effects for different surfaces and then uh, collects names that those surfaces might have in their, like, source assets. The whole gimmick of the plugin, other than um, having some nice sounds, is that it will automatically detect where and what your player steps on, how they're moving, and play the right sounds for you. Now, there is also an example scene, which you might notice I already have open, um, so I'm just going to leave this here. In my example scene, I've got a completely new player, and currently, it's just a player script for him walking around, a character controller, and a camera. We want to add in our uh, auto footsteps plugin, and just to prove this, let me just move around real quick right now. You have no sound, no fun, no nothing, but I can still run around and all that. To add in the uh, Footsteps plugin, first go to your uh, player's root and uh, get a new game object to put at its feet. Just put it like uh, close to the floor, but not too close. That's, that's good enough. And now add a component. Footsteps. Auto Footsteps. You'll see an audio source, you can minimize it. And then here we have our script. It's got a bunch of settings, I'll go through each one. Volume is obviously the volume. We've got a randomized volume pitch well, and pitch range. Um, every time it plays a sound effect, it'll randomize between these two values. We've got the expected floor distance, which uh, this is just the maximum distance for the floor to be at. Uh, it, it's just for raycasting. Don't really worry about it. As long as uh, your thing is closer than that number, you'll be okay. Then we've got distance per step. This is how far your player is going to have to move before it expects a footstep sound effect to play. Next, we've got the foot profile, and you will need to assign this. Um, I'm going to, just for time, let's just do the barefoot foot profile. We'll hear that. Just drag it in. All right. Now, crouch speed, walk speed, and run speed. These numbers are how the plugin figures out what your character is doing. Uh, we wanted it to be plug and play, so this is how it does it. I'm pretty sure that these are currently the default for the example player. Let me double check that. Yeah, it's in the script. It, r speed, run speed, crouch speed, that all matches up. Once you have this calibrated for your character, it should just work. Now it's all done, I can press play. And great. Again, what this plugin does is it raycasts down, finds what your character is standing on, figures out what material is part of that, along with uh, what material of the mesh, because you can have sub-meshes and all that. And then it figures out um, the sounds to play through that via all the tags. Additionally, it'll analyze some materials if it can't figure it out from just the material name and go to the texture resource files. And uh, this won't be too laggy because we've got a bunch of cation going on and all that, so it's pretty performant. Oh. Alright. 